is Six by Doc's wife, uh, Rainbow Bright, and I'm going to, I guess, to have a YouTube channel. Uh, I've been pestered and pestered and pestered, apparently, and the people, uh, I guess, a few of them have asked, so um, here I am, and of course that isn't actually me there. That's my husband's dog, Kyle, but he keeps acting like he's going to do something interesting, so I figured I'd start out by looking at him. And then in a few minutes, you might actually see something amazing, which is me in front of the camera talking. So, sorry about making that sick. So, I figured I'd start out talking about me in my first video and kind of, I guess, ground you in meanness, which is books. I like books. Um, and my husband likes to talk me up as, oh my gosh, she knows everything. And no, I don't. I just know a little bit and I pick things up here and there. Um, a lot of the stuff I know. I learned as a kid, and I read stuff like random books about animals. Anything to do with animals, I liked the Iditarod, I liked just all sorts of animals, so I read everything I could about animals, so a lot of stuff, like Monkeys on the Interstate. I got this actually in college, so I would have loved it as a kid, and I still read it. Winter Dance was a great book about the Iditarod, um, all sorts of books like that. These aren't all of them, so... And I'm getting motion to bring these books up where you can see them, apparently. So that one, that one. And I'm not expecting anybody to, like, take notes on my books. And there will not be a test. But so those are, like, leisure reading on animals. And then I also have books that I've kind of read that include semi-textbooky sort of books, which are more, well, I've kind of skimmed through slash read this one because I haven't had it super long. Homesteading. Um, I'd be interested. I'm mostly a mammal person, but I like just about anything, so books about cats, books about exotic critters, like mantises, mantid, mantid, mantisai, cockroaches, lizards, yay, so stuff about that. I, I read stuff like that, I don't know. I'm actually like, oh, look, turn the page, read it, not like, ah, boring. Um, I read a bunch of books like this as a kid. All sorts of different books about horses, yay, because, you know, I'm a girl. I still like them. I just know they're not quite as Mr. Ed and uh, Zorro's horse all the time. Maybe not quite as intelligent. Um, books about dinosaurs and kind of dinosaurs. This is actually a really good book. It took me a while to track down one on dinosaurs. That was a big one. So I'll probably throw the ISBN for this one into the list that will end up somewhere, probably in the comments section once I figure out how to make one of those, because I actually haven't made my YouTube channel yet. It's the next step of this process. This is a good book. Um, binding sucks, but, because the adhesive did not stay, but it was a good content book. I liked the rest of it on the inside. Um, like for a while I was trying to branch out from I mostly had horses and dog books and I was like, well, I'm, I'm interested in everything else. So, primates. Because one of the most fascinating things I've ever learned was the capuchin monkey. Like, the one in Night at the Museum and I think they had one in uh, George of the Jungle. The little guy, he's like in everything with monkeys in it that can turn doorknobs and whatever. He is not from Africa. That, that set of monkeys come from... Um, a lot of my stuff comes from classes I've taken because I have the zoology major to start with, um, including some chemistry, vertebrates, and comparative anatomy was a good class. Evolutionary biology was a cool class. Ecology was a good class, and I kind of am a book hoarder. Well, not quite a hoarder, but if I find a good book and I think I'll actually use it again, I'm actually going to use this one again. My ecology book, I kind of hold on to it, so. A lot of the knowledge that I have came from studying it, cramming it in there, too. All sorts of textbooks. Um, other knowledge came from the second degree and my minor that I got while I was working on the zoology degree was interpretation and outdoor education. Now my other my major is uh, outdoor recreation leadership and management, but I kept some books from that, too. Um, you know, people aren't going to be like, yay, read me a story from that book. But if, if you're making, like, signs or something, it might be useful. And I might be, because that's what I'm interested in, too. Some random books I have 
going to recommend everybody read Silent Spring. It was depressing. I got halfway through and stopped because I was like, I can't believe my species is this dumb. And then I was like, it really is, and I need to know these things. And maybe the chemicals have changed. Maybe some of the politicians have changed. But we're still doing stupid stuff like this. Like, let's find out what lives in here so we'll poison it all off and then find out. Smart idea, guys. Let's do it. But everybody should read this book. It may not be this copy. You could have, like, an e-book copy. But, you know, silent spring. Read it.